Hi boys and girls, teacher Ella here along with Hazel. Hazel. And we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We are gonna do a science, science experiment. And it's one that we did um, a few days ago and it was pretty cool. And once you see it, what is it called? What does it start to look like in the water once the drops are in there, Hazel? Under fireworks. Underwater fireworks, right? Oh, it's so cool. Um, and we've tried it a few times. Um, it hasn't worked some of the times, but I think we've got it down. So all you need is a clear kind of bigger glass. We're using a vase. Um, another smaller cup is fine. It doesn't really matter what it looks like. Some food coloring, some oil, and a fork. Um, so what you do first, it's very easy, um, is put a little bit of oil. Okay, can I do it? Okay. So you don't need very much, probably just like a tablespoon. We're just gonna kind of estimate there, that's good. And what we have found, not yet Hazel, what we have found is that um, two, two colors work best because, to start with anyways. Um, so what two colors do you wanna try? Green. Green and? Leather. Yellow, okay, so the trick is to put maybe about three drops and you don't want to squeeze it you really want them to be um drops so we'll see if we can get that right this time can i do the green and you do the yellow yeah okay homie. yeah so i'm gonna do one two three drops of green and then hazel wanted yellow so just do try to do the drops mm -hmm. see. one Two. two that's perfect thanks and then what we do with the fork is we don't want to stir it up but we kind of just want to break up the drops into sort of smaller drops so if you very carefully just sort of break them up a little bit they kind of turn into smaller dots and honestly even if it doesn't work the way that it's supposed to it's still kind of cool just to watch it so we've broken them up a little bit and then you just pour this into the other jar and we'll see what happens. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> wow, Which is not what we are looking for, but I think that happens when we put bigger drops in or something. But what Hazel and I like to do is add drops on once they've kind of started. So maybe once this big swirl goes out of the way, um, you'll kind of see why it's called fireworks. And I'm going to move this in closer so that you can sort of, sort of see what's happening here. And sometimes it takes a little while for it to get start getting mixed up. And I'm going to actually put in a, a couple dots of red here at the top just to see if we can get some different colors going. So how do I wait for the red, right? Yeah, we'll wait for the red and see if it starts going down. to see on the film but if you look really closely they're starting to be sort of what looks like fireworks maybe if you stand back hazel they'll be able to see it better if you like move your arm a little bit i'm gonna move it in actually even closer there they can see your face behind it too it's kind of funny so if you see down here they're starting to sort of fall down slowly and sometimes the um, water will be clear so you can see it a lot better. Oh, there goes another one. I am that green. I think that one's kind of the yellow that's mixed some with the green. But it's kind of fun and you just sit and watch it and it slowly sort of goes down and it looks like it's kind of exploding like a firework coming down from the sky. Oh, there goes the red. It's mm. kind of mixed with another color. Oh, maybe that's the green. Ooh, see, that one look, does look like a firework. So yeah, every time that we've tried it, it's been a little bit different, but it's always sort of worked at least. But yeah, so that's why it's called, why it's called under, Under Underwater Fireworks. Because if you guys know, if you've ever seen fireworks in the sky, they kind of shoot up and explode, and these are more going down and exploding. But it's really fun to do and fun to experiment with. And like I said, it never looks exactly the same, but you can see 
Oh, there's the yellow dropping down. Where did it go? That's the old yellow. Oh, there's another green one. Fireworks underwater. So anyway, it's really, it's really neat to watch. Oh, there's no blue one coming down. Yeah, we put some bread in there. Some It takes a little bit longer sometimes. So you can just sit and watch what happens. And if you want to try adding more drops, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But it's a fun um, I do experiment to do. And we've done it a few times now.